Good morning. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel, Creating in the Waiting. Today we are altering paper clips and not really altering, we're just decorating. I love this kind. They are super easy, super simple, and super, super beautiful. I have some little pieces down here that I'm just pulling out of this little random thing where I have put some of my charms and stuff. Let's see. I'm probably going to use this in my journal somewhere. I'm working on a new journal. I will be on working in her. I just put her together. So just a little peek at her. It's a four signature flip flop. Let me show you. We did the base. Um, and I did the first signature with you guys. Um, and then... I just put the rest of it together. So here's the second signature. I embossed some straw paper um, to where it's full sheet embossing and it's absolutely beautiful. And then our third signature is over here. And then the fourth signature is in the back. I love the way that this one looks already and I like literally just bound her. She is so beautiful. I'm gonna go through and do my tucks, pockets, um, embellishing, and then, you know, just adding some tags and such. I already have two tags made for her. Lovely lace. This is from Two Sister. I am absolutely in love, especially with this steel lace. I haven't tied this yet. I'll play with that later. Okay, so the reason why we're on, I have some regular silver plate paper clips, some regular gold ones, and these various charms. These are my absolute favorite. And I do like them with the little rosettes, but I do not have any more of the pink ones. Let me just kind of show you here. This is a purple rosette. So I have some that are pink like that and I find them at Joann's, but my Joann's doesn't have any. Um, and I'm not going to order online because the shipping is ridiculous. So I am just going to use what I have. And I really like using these little flowers. I am currently looking for my E6000. Sorry, guys. That is what I used to adhere. Just these little tubes of E6000. Good for metal. Anything for metal. So if I'm putting anything that's like super duper heavy on something in a journal, I use these 6,000 that way. I know it's not going anywhere. I need to back those with some tea stain paper. I do have a tutorial on how to alter those as well with a transparent label. So check that out. All right. I'm going to go ahead and not even mess with that one. I'm just going to go here with this new one. Cause we're not playing around this morning I'm trying to get some stuff done I need to get out the door I'm gonna do gold on this because these are gold I hope that everybody had a great weekend that they have a fabulous fabulous week Woo! slippery little sucker every time something like that happens it reminds me of pretty woman and Julia Roberts when she's eating the lobster I'm not the only one. Comment below if you love that movie. Now, if I was a smart person, I would put my charm first. But I'm not. Sometimes. Just gonna, okay. So we're just gonna, boop, take that off. It's fine. Um, so for, with that E6000 number one, oh man, I can't leave it out or open for too long. So when I alter stuff, it's kind of like my embossing machine. We are adhering whatever we need to adhere with this E6000. And it does dry clear, so don't fret about it. But you don't want globs and globs of it on there. And what I'm going to do with this little flower, because it feels like it wants to be a little bigger. I'm going to put my E6000 just kind of all up on that little sucker. You ain't going nowhere. And honestly, what I like to do is kind of flip these upside down. 
and I just let them dry and they'll be good. Now I do want a blue one, a couple blue ones actually, for my lovely little blue journal. I love sticking these in Happy Mails, super fun. I also like these little puff flowers on them if I can find one. And honestly, I don't need to be digging in this bag because I have these put over here. I really want to make up some... I need to stop getting distracted. I'm starting to think about clusters right now. I want to show you the puff flowers. So they are kind of like this, but not like this. And they're like... Psh. And they look so cute on here, but I am out of those. I found those at Joann's also. Joann's needs a restock. What's really going on? So they're almost like this, but smaller. Ew. Yeah. And you restock their flowers. So, you know, that's too big. Unless I had a bigger paper clip. Um, we're not doing all that. Okay. So let's come here with the silver. And I'm putting it up at the top, yeah? Because I don't want it at the bottom. And I'm going to be a smart person right now. And I am going to... I really... Okay, let's use some of the keys. And it's fine. This key doesn't have a jump ring. I'm going to see what it looks like. It, to me, that's not a big deal because it has a little hoop at the top. Oh no, it's gonna definitely need a jump ring. Let me get one of these. I'm gonna use this jump ring for now so I don't have to dig in my jump rings. Okay. I'm saving myself a little bit of time while I'm on this live. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please hit like, subscribe, and comment so that I know that you're here. And of course, as always, find me on Facebook. Okay? Savage Art. We be having lots of fun over there. Keep it drama free. Don't bring any of that. If you come in with a drama, just stay on out. Okay? I like to keep it super duper safe for the ladies. For myself, there's enough drama and chaos in this world. We don't need that in the Junk Journal community. Even though, of course, it's going to happen everywhere. Definitely try to keep that out of the group. We have three wonderful raffles coming up this week. The lovely, lovely Kim Evans. With one of her design team projects. And a member. And yes, I do allow members to host raffles in my group. Both Kim and my Wednesday raffle, they are members. In order to host a raffle, you must be actively participating in swaps, events, encouraging people, but also participating in other people's raffles because, of course, we need to support other creators as well. We need to be, you know, givers also. You're going to be a little bigger. So I'm going to take that one off. Because it's going to be a bigger. And I'm just going to put my E6000 like so. Anyway, the lovely Sharon has a wonderful bundle that she put together. Super excited about that. It's filled with all of the goodies that we love and we need to create our creations. And I have a Savage stash coming up. I like to make a little goodies to put in mind. Look, I wasn't a smart person this time, but it's fine. Let's go ahead. Let's maybe use one of these. I like these. So obviously these are Hildy and Joe charms. I find them at Joann's and I love to get them when they're on sale. Right now, they are not. And I have my flip-flop journal coming up as well. We just did the 2K giveaway. And I haven't announced it yet. But I will make an announcement probably sometime this week. But you are hearing it here first. I am doing a 1K giveaway where I will put together a lightly embellished Bitty Beauty. 
when I hit 1,000 members, I will do a giveaway for that as well as it will be shipped in a cute little box. I like to ship my journals and such in boxes. And uh, look at how cute. And it will be filled with some of the stuff from my personal stash that I get from my personal favorite shops. Along of course with their information so that you can find them yourself in the future if you wish. Because sharing is caring. All right, let's come with one of these beauties. These are always my favorite. So guys, my favorite color used to be red, but it slowly over time turned into pink. And apparently there is scientific reason behind that, I guess. Somebody informed me of that not sure what it is like something happens in your mind or something I don't know so when this lays it's wanting to lay this way so I'm gonna put my little rose on the front of here these are really cute with bows and buttons I mean this is not a new thing people have done these I'm just coming on and showing you the way that I do them I find these little packs of roses as well at Joann's, but you can find them at Amazon or online. I have found them online as well. They are a little bit different, but a rose is a rose is a rose is a rose. Now I do want to do another key. No, do I have two keys? No, I don't. So what I'm going to do to save myself a little bit of time is I am just going to take a jump ring off of this so guys you know how I was having that car trouble and I went and had that super duper expensive fix that I mean let's just face it I didn't just have that money laying around anyway that was fixed and then I went out to my car yesterday it wouldn't turn over so I was like oh my word and it's been raining here in Texas so for those of y'all that don't know, I have Lyme disease and it really, really affects my Lyme and my autoimmune. Like I literally was so exhausted and my body ached so bad. I had went to the grocery store and it had started to rain again because I was like, okay, the rain let up. I'm going to try to go now. And I was on low, low, low fuel. And it started to pour down rain. I was like, man, I'm going home. I have enough gas to turn my car over, start it in the morning. And, you know, go first thing in the morning to the gas station. Car wouldn't turn over. And I thought, man, my car was smelling super funny. Because it was. And I was like, man, I don't know what happened to my car. I'm feeling like these people really sold me a piece of junk. But I mean, it's an older car, you know, I need to flip that over, sorry. Um, and you know, I've had it for maybe eight-ish months, but I expected to get a little bit of time out of the car, you know, I don't want to drive it for six months and waste my thousands of dollars. Let me show you another option. Anyway, and then the Lord was like, uh, 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 you didn't put gas. And I was like, oh man, I wonder if it's the gas. So I told my oldest son, hey, when you go to work, see, that's super cute also. I might come here with that. Something different. Where's my E6000? Right there. Anyway, my son came with a gas can before he went to work. And he was like, Ma, I'm going to jump it because I have cables, but I can't move your car. And I really hope it's the battery because your car won't start. And I put gas. And I was like, man, dang. You know, it, me and my sister um we're praying 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 my sister in christ we're praying 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 you know let that just be it you know anyway it comes back in he was like ma did you happen to hit a bump like super hard and i was like yeah i could have and he was like well you know he was telling me i say in all these big technical terms well your connector blah 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 could have came undone i hope i have the car the stuff the tools in my car 
Um, anyway, he comes back in. He was like, all right, you're good to go. Don't hit any more bumps. And then he was like, they do look rusted. I do have extra ones. I'm going to come back and change them for you. Bless his heart, right? Oh, my gosh, y'all. He came by at 5 yesterday, and he was like, um, I have these. Give me your keys. I want to see if they'll fit. And I'm like, you're not changing them right now, are you? Because I was meeting up with Stacy from Two Sister Jam. Talk about fast delivery. I got to meet her. It was so much fun. Um, it was so nice meeting her. I do not meet people. I just don't. Um, many reasons why, but we're not getting into that. Um, at any rate, and he was like, no, not right now. Cause of course he has to strip the wires and stuff, you know? Anyway, but with that being said, I'm like, my son is a car master mind. When did that happen? And where did you get those skills from? But apparently, you know, he learned on Google as well as his girlfriend's father, you know, showed him a lot of stuff. So I'm just like, praise the Lord. Seriously, God is so good like that. Like, seriously, because as a mom and as a woman, and I know a lot of women know these things, but I don't know that. I know how to take care of myself. That's for sure, for sure. I've been doing it since a very long time. Um, But those type of skills, I could teach you the basic. I'm going to show you how to put air in your tire put gas in your tank even though you know I'm bad do as I say and not as I do type deal like don't let yourself run out the regular maintenance on vehicles the regular responsibilities like make sure you have insurance like but when it comes to showing a man a boy that type of stuff that you know it's nice for a, a man to know I, I worried and that in and of itself is a reminder and an answered prayer thank you Jesus that he provided number one my son with the skill knowledge and know-how to look that stuff up and retain the information and understand it to comprehend but then also this man in his life that can without judgment show him those things is a blessing and a blessing for his mother because I was like, son, and he came and did all of that before work. He was a little bit late for work, which is right down the road from my house. I was like, I'm going to cash up you some money. Can you go get a gas can? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, you might not have enough time because, you know, you work at nine. And it was like eight when I was talking to him. He was like, no, nah, mom, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Came and took care of all of that for his mom. I love it. so so proud of him I say boy but he's a man my reason for breathing guys I'm having a hard time with my hands obviously and I'm just yapping away and I know some people are like oh, quit the chit chat just craft and talk about what you're doing we don't want to hear about your friends and family again I had seen and I was talking about this on my live I had seen somebody's comment on somebody's other um video that was like oh you know I love that you just craft and you talk about what you're doing and you don't talk about your friends your family oh gosh guys I read that comment and I felt so convicted I was like hmm maybe I talk too much but I mean to each his own if you don't like what I do that's fine I mean I'm not gonna be everybody's cup of tea it's okay I'm not pizza you know not everybody's gonna like me does everybody like pizza? Ugh, if you don't like pizza, please comment below because there may be something wrong with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but not kidding at the same time. Um, but in a nice way, I'm telling you simply just change the channel and find somebody that you do like. You know, you might take this idea and I've seen it somewhere else and like the way that they do it and that's great. I'm just, you know, here crafting with you. Because this is honestly what the Lord has given me to do during this time. Hence the name of my channel, Creating in the Waiting. Again, I have Lyme disease and autoimmune. And I keep believing and praying for healing. There was a time where God was not answering and I was not seeing. And I thought that he was going to do for me what he has done in the past, which was remove immediately. And he has done that for me, guys. And I still don't have my healing for God, we're probably five years into this and there was a period where God was silent and I got I was silent 
and my prayer life suffered. But when my prayer life suffered, my hope suffered. And I began to get very discouraged, very depressed, and fall into an absolute pit of almost despair. So it's extremely important to me to keep myself surrounded by positive people because right now I'm trying to dig myself out of that and it's very, very hard. Also with Lyme disease and autoimmune, depression is almost par for the course. So I have to be very mindful of my thinking. And so I, I tell you now, um, just keep me in your prayers, of course. But hence the name creating and the waiting because the Lord gave me this to do, you know, a few years back, maybe I don't, I don't even know. And I was like, Lord, you know, I want to start making YouTube videos, but I need a really neat name for my channel. And he so quietly, but yet so loudly, and it's almost so loud and clear, but his voice is so gentle and kind that it seems so soft. But just very very clearly said creating in the waiting so while I wait for my healing while I wait even if it doesn't come while I wait in what I'm going through I will continue to create um this little booger is gonna be a booger and I'm just gonna take it off while I put my little and sometimes you might have to do your little paper clip like that it's fine just bend it back into place no stress enough Creating and the waiting. So now you may know what my channel stands for. All right, so we have those done. We got quite a few done. We need to go ahead and just make up the ones that are laid out here. However, those are just off because the jump rings it's easier for me to kind of twist those off and then today I have I don't know maybe 25 word sentiment clusters that I need to make up for orders as well as you know doing the newsletter in the group and working in this journal. Guys, I'm going to be very honest. I was doing the 100 day project.